We had mentioned on the show yesterday this bizarre story uh, with two 16-year-olds, one found along I-5 in Seattle one night, and then the next morning, a little ways away, a second one found. They were both shot to death, and then police came out and said they knew each other. So now there's this, okay, what, what's going on here? And that investigation is still underway. What I found fascinating, because in my mind, having cut one, having an ounce of common sense, and also having covered crime and justice, I've got two 16-year-old black youth shot, apparently execution style, dumped on the side of an interstate. They knew each other, you know, according to police. I'm thinking gang. That's the first thing, I mean, come on. That's the first thing that goes through my mind. I'm thinking gang. And then, and I didn't know, you know, I was like, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, so I didn't, that's why I didn't say it on the show yesterday that these are probably gang members. I didn't jump to that conclusion. And then we see how the media covers this. And again, it's sad. These are two 16 year olds, families are without them. Like that, that is devastating, regardless of the circumstances. But just as an example, so remember these are two 16 year olds all over Cairo 7, Como, Fox 13. Their coverage of this has pictures of these two homicide victims as little kids. You know, Cairo 7 questions about the murders of two best friends, their bodies found hours apart on I-5 in North Seattle, families grieving the murders of two best friends, their bodies found a day apart on I-5. Beloved Seattle teens shooting death shrouded in mystery, mourned by community. So I'm thinking, why, why are they using pictures of these? There's one, you know, with the, one of the um, kids sitting on his mom's lap in like a, you know, cap and gown sort of thing, like, mm -hmm. a, like from a from preschool, maybe a preschool graduated. graduation or mm -hmm. something. I'm like, this is just interesting. And then they said they were great students. Were great students. So maybe the reason why the photos of them when they were younger were used is because this is what photos of them more recently look like. This is allegedly, according to multiple sources, it was first put out by Safe Seattle. I then had a law enforcement source this morning that confirmed that this is a picture of the two 16 year olds who were found along I-5, holding guns, pointing guns at the camera lens. So then of course I'm like, okay, that obviously kind of reinforces what my first thought about this was. And not only does my law enforcement source confirm that these two 16 year olds were active gang members, but that one of them is currently suspected in a homicide case. And that hasn't been released publicly yet. So you're hearing about that here for the first time. So I wanna go back again. Nicole, can you flip back mm -hmm. to the pictures that were used by all the news agencies of these two 16 year olds as little kids being characterized as C as beloved Seattle teens, as good students. And look, I'm sure they were loved by people, 100%. I'm sure the community is mourning. It's devastating that two 16 year olds would be killed in that way. Like to, to paint it as, oh, these were like, what, honor students found dead on the side of the road. When police suspect any good reporter doing their due diligence would know off the bat something's up here would talk to their law enforcement sources before they did this flowery story about these like two little tiny kids using these old pictures about this, this, this death and not say, hey, gang activity is suspected. Gang activity is suspected, they're getting to the bottom of it. I'm not saying gang activity or a picture of them, you know, when they're around 16 pointing guns at the camera. I'm not saying that that negates their life. I'm not saying that negates the value of their life. I'm not saying that that negates the pain that their family must be going through. What I am saying is that it's part of the story. And to act as if it's not part of the story or to actively ignore that part of the story is why the mainstream media is viewed with such low regard.